Hey, yo, what up, YouTube? It's tea time here with the tea time meal day. Let's bu get busting into this stuff. Should be expecting expecting a bunch of mail to come in. Made a bunch of trades. So. Taped up really good. Tight. All right, here it is. It's a Chris Bosch sick patch from a. Uh, it looks like it's from the Raptors. No, I mean from the R from the Raptors. It's at a it's twenty seven out of twenty nine. So that's from my NBA patch team PC. Uh, sorry, my voice is going, guys. Uh, all right, let's get in this next package. Oh, this is from Haybart. Second, guys. So thank you, Haybart. Got this sick JL patch. Look at that. That's sick. It's four colors with that pinstripe in there. It's numbered three of ten. So that's really nice. Got this Clinton Portis patch from Donner's Threads this year. Three colors out of 50. So that's for my, uh, uh, I'm starting an NFL team PC like I did with, uh, um, the NBA. So, got this Julius Peppers. Look at that. It's like the claw and the panther. It's that sick. It's fresh. It's a fresh card. It's out of, it's out of Trilogy and it's numbered to 79, 34, 79. Then for the Chargers. I got this sick Merriman lights out. If you guys don't know, that's a tattoo. And that's why it goes like this. Because he's going lights on, lights off. Uh, so that's sick manufactured patch out of 75. And then this uh, Lindell White. Three color patch out of 10. Five of 10. So that's really fresh and clean card looking too. Real fresh looking card there too. And then this last one is from Gamecocks. T. Clark, if you guys don't know him. If you guys are looking, want any of my baseball stuff, most of it's his, all of it's his actually. So, yeah, I made a big deal with him. So, get this stuff out of here. Oh man, this stuff looks really nice. If you guys don't know, I'm starting to collect the Ravens now. So, uh, here's a Joe Flacco. Looks like a six-piece jersey out of 25, 15 and 25. So that's really fresh. Uh, this Lindell White, three color and then two color from, or one color from US, USC patch. Dual. This is uh, for trade. It's out of 21. Either this one or this one's for trade because I only need one Titans patch. Looking for uh, I'm looking for basketball patches or NFL patches. So let me let me know, guys. I got this nice Kevin Smith patch, two four colors patches. It's out of uh, 3450, which is his jersey number. So that's a 101. So it's very very clean looking card. This uh, Willis McGahey dual patch. It's two color there and then you can barely see it but it's purple and black there player timeline it's got bills on one side and uh ravens on the other number to 50 27 to 50 so that's very fresh 
for the PC. That'll be my Ravens patch. I got this uh, three color uh, McFadden. So that's sick for the Raiders there. 40 out of 50. I got this, uh, this is another Detroit Lion patch. I'm trying to trade it, sell it to this guy. So if you wanted to see it, it's 17 out of 18. It's a two color patch there, three color, and then another two color, but the two breaks there. It's a very fresh looking card from of Drew Stanton out of 18. This triple, uh, two color patches of, uh, Ryan Grant for the Packers. There's a little bit of a two color there, but it's very hard to see. And a two color there, and then it's all it's a three color there, but it's hard to see. So no point in that. It's numbered out of 25, 16, 25. Very, very sick. And then this nice Ray Rice on the on the the field uh, auto rookie card auto out of 40. So that is fresh. I mean that's perfect for my Ravens PC. So yeah, that's that's about it, guys. Uh, before I get off here, I wanted to say a couple words about some stuff that's really been irritating me. Uh, look, if you're big on YouTube, that's all. That's I mean, that's cool. You probably deserve it. But just because you're big on YouTube, if someone mess like if someone messages you, like at least respond back. And then and then if they message again after you tell them that you don't want to trade or, hey man, I'm busy. I don't really want to talk or. You know, just be, I mean, at least give them a, resp a response. And then if they message you again, you can get mad at them. But don't just get mad at them because they message you again and you didn't want to answer. At least give them an answer and response. And also with that, I mean, if you're big on YouTube, like, I'm from back in the day and, like, we, there's a bunch of people that started out. Like, Joe was on here, what, like, a year before I was, and, uh, uh, Bobby, Bobo was on, like, six months before I was, so, I don't really have that much, I'm, it's not like I'm a legend or anything, but, I'm just trying to let you guys know that just because you're big on YouTube doesn't mean you can just be a dickhead all the time, and the people that I'm saying this to probably won't even know I'm talking to them, so, I don't even know why I'm saying it, but, if you're or if, if you're on Blog TV and you're a fucking operator or something, and you kick someone out, like without even asking why, without even like, you know, asking why they said something or anything like that, like that's just bullshit. And especially when it's not even your Blog TV. If I'm sitting on Yank Sticks Man's Blog TV session, and I say something, or like last night I booted someone because they. Uh, in, 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 uh, Tommy's blog TV, someone booted me for no reason. So then, Bobby had a blog TV going last night, so I got on there and booted him. So I booted him back, you know, just getting back at him, because, I mean, that's bullshit that he booted me for no reason. We weren't even arguing, I wasn't even talking to him. And then, someone boots me, and now I can't even, and then I can't even talk on blog TV, because he thinks he has the right to boot someone when it's not even his blog TV. So... I mean, if you, if you gotta, I mean, if you're that big of a control freak that you have to feel the need to control every aspect of someone else's blog TV or every aspect of YouTube or you, you set rules for, for people that can and cannot message you and stuff, that's just bullshit and, uh, people, people deserve to be treated with respect on here unless, unless they start something with you, then... I don't see the reason to treat people like shit. I mean, if they start, like, saying bullshit about you, yeah, you can defend yourself and say whatever you want about them, but don't just start shit talking about them just for no reason. Other than that, uh, big shout-outs to, uh, Benji and Johnny, ba uh, Joe, Bobo, Walker, Brain, uh, Mark, I know you're probably not watching this, Mark, but we miss you, bro, we love you, and, uh, yeah, I'll hit you guys later with another mail there probably tomorrow. Some sick patches. Let me know if you guys have any patches, uh, NFL patches or NBA patches for trade. Talk to you later. Peace.